lovers, my name is Nagas and I post videos all about books, reading vlogs, and so much more. In this video, as you can see, first off I want to say that I am in a different location. So I am behind my Christmas tree because I just thought it would be fun and festive to film here. And secondly, I wanted to say that this video is not an original video ID at all. I actually saw someone yesterday post this video and I thought it was such a good ID just to talk about books that we're thankful for and the thing I love about booktube is that we can share video IDs like nobody's gonna say oh my god you copied so and so if you give someone credit and you say this is not your ID at all that you borrowed this ID from someone else no one's gonna be mad at you like we share IDs in this community it's so great also it's also great to see other people's opinions and like the way they do the same video like their different take on it so yeah I just thought it'd be a really fun ID I will link the video that I watched like the original video that I watched I'm not sure if that was like the first person who ever like did this video or if there are more videos like this out there I'm just gonna link the one that I watched and got this ID from so again, this is going to be the books that I am thankful for video and I thought it would be very appropriate because Thanksgiving is upon us and that is the day where you have to be thankful for everything in your life and since I love books, why not be thankful for books as well? So let's get straight on to the video. The first book that I am thankful for is a book series and that is The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants by Anne Branshaw, I think that's how you pronounce her last name. I am so thankful for this book series. It is literally one of my all-time favorite book series, and it is the book series that got me into reading. I was not a big reader as a kid. Literally, I did not love reading. I thought it was kind of boring, and it just wasn't my thing. But then, the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants movie came out, and I wanted to see the movie because I'm a huge Gilmore Girls fan, and Alexis Bledel was starring in the movie, so I was like, Okay, I have to see the movie, but before I see the movie, I found out that it was a book, and I was like, why not read the books? So I read the book series, and actually at the time, I think only three of the books were out, and I read like all three of them. I loved them, I devoured them, and they really sparked my interest in reading. It was just at a good time, and it made me fall in love with reading and the contemporary genre in general. The next book that I am thankful for is A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. This is my all-time favorite book. I love this story so much. It's such a powerful story in a way and it also shows you that people can change even if you don't think they can. People can change. Things happen in everyone's life to make them become a different person and it's just an amazing book. Such a powerful story. I love it so much and it's my all-time favorite book. The reason I'm thankful for this book is because I never knew you could love a book so much. I thought that there were books that you just liked and books you didn't really like, but there wasn't a book that you'd be like, oh my god, I'm obsessed with and you want every copy of. That is A Christmas Carol for me. After I read this book, I think I read it like, I mean, I've always known the story and I watched the movies, but I didn't read the book until like two or three years ago. And after reading the book, I instantly fell in love with the story even more. It is an amazing book. I recommend it to everyone to read, especially this time of year. So it's just one of my favorite books ever. And I just, I'm so thankful for it that it came into my life. And it just sparks my love for reading again every time I read it. The next book that I am thankful for is Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sapetti. I am thankful for this book because this is my first historical fiction. It's a historical fiction novel that I have ever read. I think it's my only historical fiction that, that I've ever read. And I'm thankful for it because this book is so hard hitting and it really makes you look at your life and say even though you have struggles in your life, even though there are things that you're going through, people have had it worse. There are things that could happen to you that is much worse than what you're going through right now. And it really makes me appreciate my life so much. It makes me think that things could be so much worse. And I know that in the past, people have gone through some terrible things. And the world has been not such a kind place. So I am so thankful for this book. Next book that I am thankful for is Girl, Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis. This book, it's so weird for me to like describe how I'm thankful for it because it's more of a self-help book but this book just really helped me it really made me take a look at my life and figure things out and it's just really weird to describe why I love it so much but I do I'm so thankful for it even though I can't always like 
like agree or like understand what she went through because our lives haven't like gone in the same path I still kind of get something from every chapter that she's talking about and it's just a really good book and I love it I gave it five out of five stars it is so good I'm so thankful that I read it even though it's not a book I typically would go for because it is more of a self-help type of book but I'm just so thankful for it I love it so much it is such a good book and yeah it really helped me like look more into my life and realize that you know, we all have issues, we all have problems and stuff, but we gotta persevere and keep on going, and yeah, it's just kind of weird for me to like talk about why I'm thankful for it, because it is a self-help book, so we all find different things in it, so I just love it so much. The last book that I am thankful for is It's Kind of a Funny Story by Ned Vinzini, I think that's how you pronounce his last name, I don't quote me on that whatsoever, but I love this book. This book has helped me so much because I struggle from depression, anxiety, bipolar disorder, and in this book, the main character struggles with so many stuff, like so many mental health issues, and if you don't know the plot line, it's about a boy who tries to commit suicide but then goes to the hospital and gets admitted into the adult psych ward. It is so good, so amazing. I have talked about this book a lot on my channel. It is one of my absolute favorite books and it's really like the first time that I've read a story about someone that goes through the same kind of things as me, the same kind of anxiety and like depression. So it really was just an amazing book and it has my favorite quote in it which you guys have probably heard me say a million times but the quote is, life is not cured, life is managed, and if I was brave enough, I would totally get that tattooed on me, but I am not brave whatsoever. But I just, I love this book so much. It is amazing, and I am so thankful that I read it. So those are all the books that I am thankful for. Let me know in the comments below what books you are thankful for. It's just a great time of giving, a great time of being thankful, and I just love reading in general. I'm also thankful for my family and friends and people that, you know, surround me with love and, you know, I love so much. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button to join my little family here on YouTube and thanks so much for watching.